love Lawrence. Lawrence loved women. No, no, no. I don't really think he loved them. He just controlled them. Uh, whatever you want to call it, that didn't include you. He hated you. Right. He was obsessed with trying to hurt you. Oh, yes, and he surely succeeded, didn't he? Mm-hmm. What did he have against you? <laughs> Bo, I saw through him. I never, ever bought his act, not for a second. And I hated him because of what he did to my sister, Tina. Let her stand trial for murder he committed. Yeah, huh? so I was quite determined to get her away from him, and I did. I also managed to get a few other young women away from his cult, including Joy O'Neill. <laughs> that didn't go over too well with Mitch. He was furious. So when I was pregnant with Jessica and Natalie, he tried to kill me. You want me to leave Landview? I don't want you to, but I don't know what else we're supposed to do. Look, I can stay out of your way, you and Chris's. And what about all the other people? Who? Everybody, this is a small town. It's not gonna be fun for either one of us. People staring at us and talking behind our backs. Look, I think I can handle it somehow. Why would you want to? I mean, yeah, they're gonna feel sorry for me, but you, they're just gonna say mean things behind your back. Look, I don't really care what other people think, okay? What about what I think? Natalie, I don't blame you for falling in love with Christian. He's amazing. That's why I love him, but... But now that I know what I know, I, I don't even think I can be happy with him anymore. Why not? Christian loves you. I told you, this is all one-sided. Because I'm always going to be looking over my shoulder, wondering where you are and when you're going to be going after Christian. That's not going to happen. But I'm always going to be afraid of that. How am I supposed to raise a family thinking it's all going to disappear? I'm not strong like you are, Natalie. I, you can go somewhere else. You can start a new life for yourself. I can't do that. This is all I have. Please. Jen, this is my home. I'm not leaving. Fine. Look, Natalie is my sister. I'm not going to sit here and gossip with you about her. Well, can you tell me anything? Don't even ask. This is Vega. Are you all right? I think I'd better go before I cause more problems. Jen was bound to find out sometime. You know, now maybe she and Christian can rethink this marriage. No, no, Karen. Christian would never abandon Jen. Sometimes the truth hurts. But it's better than living a lie. I know I can never live a lie between Antonio and me. Sorry, guys, about everything that's happened. But I uh, guess that means the party's over. Thanks for coming. It would have been better if I hadn't. Great news. Natalie's leaving Landview. Is that what she told you? No, but she still doesn't know it herself. She will soon. How did Mitch try to kill you? I had gone out to his, uh, used to call it his mission, to get Joy O'Neill. And Allison was there, and she offered me iced tea, which turned out to have been laced with some kind of a drug. And Mitch was behind that? Oh, absolutely. She was completely under his control. Anyway, the drug hit me when I was driving back home, so I lost control of the car, but somehow I managed to get myself to the hospital, and then I went into premature labor. God, you must have been scared to death. Yes, I was. And now, the thought that I could have lost two children. Anyway, Larry, thank God, managed to stop the contractions. But I have to tell you, the thought of what that drug might have done to my unborn child tortured me for the, the rest of my pregnancy. And meanwhile, Mitch is programming uh, Allison to steal one of your babies. <laughs> you know, none of this explains why Dr. Balsam stole one of the babies or why someone wanted twins switched. No, maybe not. You know something, Bo? The more we talk about Mitch, the more I have to wonder. What? Maybe Allison wasn't quite so crazy as I thought when she said, ask Mitch why she switched the babies. 
I would be willing to bet you that Mitch Lawrence was somehow involved in what happened to Natalie and Jessica. Vengeance is mine, saith the Lord! Sanctuary for all souls who need it. Are you from around here? Well, I used to be. I'm a kindred spirit, Father. You're a, a clergyman? Well, I was never ordained, but yes, I was the leader of a spiritual community. Was? I've been gone a while, but I'm back now. Heed the messenger. Excuse me? Oh, nothing, nothing. It's just good to be back. I had plans, but that's history. And I gotta get over it, somehow. You haven't? I can't stop thinking about her. But you know what? Jen's the one having our baby, and I'm gonna marry her. Natalie and I, that's, that's over. I've heard enough people. She'll be okay, man, she's strong. At least Jen doesn't know, and she never will. from Dr. Conklin's office. Is Jen okay? No, she's here at Landfair, and she needs you right now. Okay, I'm on my way. Jen, I feel horrible about what Natalie did to you. Is there anything I can do? I wish there was. I wish you could make it all go away. So do I. Can you wait for me outside? Oh, sure, of course. Who was that? Some loser. A loser? Well, you were being awfully nice to her. She does stuff for me. Like what? She changed my medical records. Let's make it look like I had a different tooth. Oh, Jen. That's why they think that it's Christian's baby. God. But everything's working out. Do you know how easily all this could blow up in your face? I mean, even if you marry Christian and raise his child, is that what's going to make you happy? I'm already happy. All my life, I've let things happen to me. Now I'm gonna make things happen to other people. Natalie will never get over Christian, just like I will never get over me. And I'll be able to spend every day of my life watching Christian suffer. Oh, honey, did he hurt you that bad? I loved him, Mom. When I first met him, I never thought somebody like that could love me. But he convinced me that he did. And it was all a lie. But it's okay because I'm not gonna let anybody hurt me like that ever again. But you can go home. Uh, uh, what are you? Yeah, go home, I'm fine. Okay, if that's what you want. I'll see you later. Where are you going? To finish off Natalie? Natalie, I've, I've thought about what you said, and if you don't care what other people say, I don't, then I have no right to ask you to leave. Thank you. So Christian and I will go. What? 
What? And you want to leave Lambview? What? Why? I can't be here. I can't watch a woman that loves my husband every day. It'll kill me. Jen, Chris's whole family is here. I know. And it's going to be really hard for him to leave his mom and Antonio. But the baby and I, we're his family now. And I know he'll be strong for all of us. Even if it means leaving all the people that he loves most in the world, I know he'll do that. No. It's not I can't do this to Christian. It's, it's my fault. I can't deal with your feelings for him. It scares me. But if you're going to be here in Landview, we can't. I don't really see any other way. Do you? Was Alison lucid? Did she have any answers for you? Um, perhaps, yeah. I, I wanted to thank you anyway, sister, because I know you bent the rules for me a little bit. And I thought maybe I could make a donation to St. Anne's. Oh, I'm sorry. St. Anne's doesn't accept donations. Really? It would mean a lot to me if I could help. Well, whenever we receive financial support, we always send it on to St. Jude's. I could give you Father Diaz's phone number. Thank you, yeah. Great, Sister Vega. Yeah. Thank you, Bo. Here, you can call him and make the arrangements. I will do that. All right. Thank you. Thanks. Let's see. If Allison regains some of her faculties, I'll contact both of you. Thank you. Father Diaz speaking. Oh, uh, Father Diaz, my name is Victoria Davidson. Um, I was wondering if I could drop off a contribution uh, in maybe a few minutes. Oh, that's very kind of you, Mrs. Davidson. Uh, look for me in the sanctuary. Christian and I have to leave Landview. It's the only way. No, it isn't. What are you saying? Hey, um, Marcy called and, and told me that, that you needed me. What's wrong? Christian, I have really bad news. I'm leaving Landview, Christian. For good. Allison. Mitch Lawrence programmed you to steal Vicky's baby. Did you know that she had twins? Ask Mitch. No, we can't do that. Because Mitch Lawrence is dead. Is he? Thank you for calling me down here. I needed to get out of that damn mansion. The place is haunted. Haunted? Mm-hmm. By that so-called wife of mine. You still seeing uh, Gabrielle? Ah, look, Pa, this isn't a social visit, OK? I asked you to come down here so that we could talk business. Fine. What's up? I'm feeling a little bit haunted myself. Miss Lawrence. <laughs> the psycho killer who was stalking Vicky years ago. What are you doing reading about him for? 
father. I I'm Victoria Davidson. I, I called you. Jesse's a full-blooded Buchanan. And now I gotta find out how that red-headed tart pulled off the scam. I don't think Natalie was scamming anybody. She's into this up to her neck. Now we had her DNA tested again. She's Vicky's daughter. She and Jess are twins. Twins? That's crazy. I was there when Vicky had a baby. Look at this. She had one child. Apparently not. How could they be twins? I've been asking a lot of people that same question, starting with the woman that kidnapped Jessica just a few days after she was born. <laughs> Allison Perkins. That lunatic is not playing with a full deck. Okay, Bo. What did she say? She said, ask Mitch Lawrence. Mrs. Davidson. Oh! Oh, Father Diaz. Hello. Yes, you called. Yes, thank you for seeing me. Thank oh, you. Thank you for offering to make a donation. You know, any gifts we receive help fund the work we do here at St. Jude's. Well, I'm very glad. Maybe we should go to your office, then we won't disturb this gentleman and his prayer. That's so funny. He's gone. I, I, I don't get it. Why are you leaving? It's because of me. It's because she and I can't be friends anymore. What happened? I think Natalie needs to explain that. I'm just so happy that we're together, that we're happy, and that we're having this beautiful baby together. And nothing is ever going to change that. What's this about? Really? Jen found out that I'm in love with you. 